structural elucidation elucidation means to determine structural elucidation of glucose from there we could write the structure of glucose and we have found this C6H12O6 has four asymmetric carbon atoms and on the basis of that we can have 16 stereo isomers out of the 16 stereo isomers uh, half of them rotate the light towards right and half of them rotate the light towards left that is we have eight different types of molecules along with their mirror images okay and among all of them only one specific molecule is called glucose but this same <coughs> formula or structure can have dextroisomer and levoisomer. In our biological system, only one of these structure is found to be active, really participating in our life cycle, that is that which rotates the light towards right. Because of that, we call this molecule to be <clears throat> call this molecule to be dextrose. This is the one which is essential for our survival because this is the one which gives us energy. Equally class proposed. But we wanted to ascertain its structure. So in that case, no logical process could be used to a certain structure. So what we have done, we have assigned the structure in comparison with the other molecule. Okay, and that is also a carbohydrate. And I told you that the, this compound is called glyceraldehyde. This is aldotriose. Okay, you get it in the nature also. Glyceraldehyde. Glyceraldehyde has an asymmetric carbon atom. So obviously, this also will rotate, it's going to rotate the light. And what is this enantiomer? This enantiomer is nothing but this is enantiomer. So this is levoisomer. So this, this molecule is being used to assign the structure of an optical active. Not only in case of glucose DR, we earlier we used to use it for all optical active isomers. Okay. And for this, we have arbitrarily put an alphabet, capital D. See, you may think that as because it is positive, so generally anything which rotates the light towards the right, we say it is a dextro rotator. But please remember, in that case, we always put small d. This capital D has nothing to do with the rotation of light. Capital D, it says that the not only which, and if any other group is on the right hand side of the periodic table, sorry, 
right hand side of the asymmetric carbon, we are going to call it D. And if it is even the left hand side, if it is there. But actually, it says that actually it says this is a measure. If any compound can be prepared from this one, any if any optically active compound if you can prepare from D glycerol D high, and if you cannot prepare, every molecules cannot be prepared from this. But if you break the molecule of your interest and from there, if you get this one, then that molecule will be called as D. All right. So we find some similarities there with this portion and this portion. All right. Because it can be prepared from this. So because of that, we call this to be D plus. And is mirror image will be called enantiomer of glucose that will be known as L minus glucose. Because why minus? Because you know enantiomer of marolis or rotate the light in the opposite direction. Clear? So that day we have already discussed this. All right. Now, when we have done the reactions of glucose, there are various reaction glucose did not respond, which should have been responded by an aldehyde group. All right. <clears throat> See, aldehyde ketones give an instant reaction with sodium bisulfite, Na, <coughs> Na2SO3, sorry, NaHSO3. But glucose does not react. Glucose also do not react with 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine. All right. Mm. So <clears throat> we'll see this one. Johnny, no, buddy. Right. Evidences against open chain structure. Open chain is that the one that Fisher structure that you have written just now? Glucose was not found to react with ammonia This is being given in the book. Sodium bisulfide. And Two four dinitro phenyl hydrazine. 
How does it react? How does it show? I think you already forgotten. This is the reagent which we used to find out. Carbonyl group. Second. Glucose does not, that day I told you, does not reduce shifts reagent. What is shift reagent? I'm repeatedly telling you, but I don't know that you don't want to. Reduced Rosaline. Hydrochloride. We have done a lot of reaction of LDH and ketones with ignite reagent, but we find what? Glucose does not react. This is also not given in your book. This I'm giving only for your entrance exam. Rignite reagent. The disease does not undergo addition reaction with Rignite reagent. Mm. I'll be a little specific. Huh? Undergo addition reaction with Vigna reagent. Kijola is it? Glucose pentase acetate. Glucose. Penta acetate. You remember we reacted glucose with acetic anhydride. Okay, I'll write down for you. Everything I'm going to write. This is glucose pentase. Does not react with hydroxyl amine. Does not react with hydroxyl amine. Please write. So, yes, the point number one it's two four dye nitro. What, sir? 2,4-dinitrophenyl, P-H-E-N-Y-L, hydrazine. 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine, which you call it 2,4-DNP. 
finished. So done. Okay. So these are all the chemical reactions. But we can we find that if you crystallize the glucose, you will get two different types of crystals with different in melting points. Okay. Crystallization of glucose from concentrated solution give two different types of crystals. with different in melting points and optical rotation. Okay, so these are being named as Alpha Alpha D plus glucose. Wait, melting point, I think four hundred and nineteen. Yes, four hundred and nineteen Kelvin. with a specific rotation of 110. Plus 110 degree. And B, beta, D, Plus glucose, I think 423. Sometimes it's difficult for me to remember. Yes, 423 Kelvin. 423 Kelvin with a specific rotation of 19.2. 19.7. Yes, 19.7. Yes. So this is becoming very strange. Hmm. The same molecule, when you crystallize, you get two types of crystals with difference in melting. Okay, then it was thought that glucose must have some other structure also. Finish it first. You have become extreme slow for a few days. After finishing, you don't say anything. You keep quiet. So done. Okay. Now see. When you have drawn the open structure of glucose. When you have drawn the open structure of glucose, we have 
written this whole chain like this. This. But we know very well, all this carbon except this, these are all sp3. So sp3 carbon cannot have a 90 degree angle. Okay, it can be either like this, or it can be like this. This is the way we draw um, sp3 carbon. Bond angle is 109 degree. Okay, so <clears throat> this structure is called Fisher structure. Fisher. structure of groups. Okay, so what you have done here, D plus glucose. If the glucose would have been having this structure, then glucose should have responded to all the tests which you just filled. That is, in this case we find Glucose predominantly exists some in some other structure where this LDH group is not free. And some structural change is taking place. So please, whatever I'm going to draw, you don't draw. <coughs> so I write it like this. I'm going to write it in the opposite. Way. This is okay. one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the sixth card. All right. This is the fifth card. This is also open chain structure of glucose. See, when I draw the structure, it seems this carbon is very far from this carbon. But actually, you find this carbon is not that far from this carbon. We have already learned that LDHs and ketones undergo reaction with alcohol. Okay, in presence of ACL. Okay. What does it give? It gives us <coughs> this OR1 and H. So this is called hemiacetal. And if another molecule reacts with, uh, uh, with hemiacetal, this OH group is replaced and you get acetal. So this one we have already learned. See in this structure, this OH group is very, very close to this carbon. And this carbon is sp2. sp2 carbon is planar like this. Okay, then what is going to happen? Suppose the OH group is here. This OH group can attack this hemicidal carbon from top, or if it is below, it can attack from bottom. All right, it can attack from top and it can attack from bottom. So if it attacks from top, what will happen? Then this O minus will go down. And this H will from here it will come here. So what we are going to get now? I will get now here. So I'm now in next structure, I'm not going to draw this carbon, okay. Yes. 
this oxygen is being linked to the this carbon. This with this structure I'm going to do here. As it enters from top, so this this O minus will go down and pick up this hydrogen from here. So you get now here. Oh. And if the attack takes place from bottom, what will happen? This O minus will go. Up to here now. So here you get. See, so you get these two different structures. Now, classically, see, this is a ring like this. This is a ring like this. Here, in first ring, you find that OH group has gone to the bottom. OH group. So, classically, in the in the structure, if anything is below the ring, we call it alpha, and if it is above the ring, we call it beta. So this is alpha D plus groups. What is his melting point? 490. What is his specific rotation? Is plus 110 degrees. Here, OH group is on the top. Okay. So, this is the one. Below the ring. Here, above the ring. So, now, Beta D plus glucose. What is his melting point? 420 degrees. What is his specific rotation? Is plus 19.70. Wait, see here. How to remember this structure? These structures are not at all difficult to remember. <coughs> See, first you will draw a hexagonal and you put oxygen here, exactly in the left side. You write here, CH2H. After that, look at this OH, up to this carbon. They are in alternate position. If this is above, this will be below. Then it will be above. Then it will be below. So this is common in both the structures. Now if it is alpha, I told you alpha is below the ring. So you write down here. And if it is beta, you write all your OH on the top. Okay, so now
See, this is the open general structure initially we have drawn, but we have found in aqueous solution many of the reactions are not being shown by this. So we can say that in aqueous solution, the glucose exists more in the cyclic structure than in the open chain structure. So this is the open chain. So this is the open chain structure. And this is the cyclic structure. Okay. Cyclic. The cyclic structure of the carbohydrate, not only of glucose, any carbohydrate was being proposed by a person and the structures are named after him. Okay, we call it Howard. Howard projection. All right? Now, one more. We will draw it together. See now. <clears throat> now, this structure in organic compound, there is a molecule like this. On heterocyclic molecule is there. Okay. And this has a name called pyra. So because of that, these structures are called pyrano structure. Okay. These are called pyrano structure. So now what I'm going to write here is again another name. You'll find we call it alpha D plus glucopyranose. And this will be known as beta D plus glucopyranose. So please draw. Don't start from here. Start from here. After that, after writing up to this much, then you will say, in organic chemistry, a molecule of this structure is known as pyranose. Hence, glucose are also being named as alpha D plus then. Then after finishing this one,
गाड़ी भी क्या एजुकेशन नहीं चल रहा पड़ा Huh? So I didn't get the conclusion. Huh? Can you pardon the conclusion, sir? Well, conclusion I'm going to write. Don't worry. You have written all this thing, na? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to write everything. I'll write now. The cyclic structure of glucose. No, no, but if I want a blue one on a cast like it, I'm going to write it. The cyclic structure of glucose resemble an organic Heterocyclic compound called pyran. And hence. These are called called pyra nose structures. Thus, how about structure of sorry. how are projections of glucose are also Named as alpha D plus glucose alpha D plus glucose 
pyranos. Okay, we'll write down in bracket. Melting point, 498 Kelvin, alpha D plus 110. And beta D plus Rupo Pyranos. Okay, what is this? Melting point four hundred twenty three Kelvin and Alpha D. Plus nineteen point seventy. Okay. Now these structures. Okay, I'll draw it. Mm. You have to understand glucose is not uh, carbohydrates are not difficult. Only the structures you remember. I told you how to do the structure. Ah, now you will if, if you will not make any mistake. Okay, first we'll draw this. Hmm. We'll draw this. PH2 OH. Okay, this is your first bit, and you will write one. Right. Then, what we'll do, we'll write O H in the alternate position huh? above the ring, below the ring. It is, if I say in Hindi, upper niche, niche. upper niche. Hmm? What will say in Khasi? Upper is called Sajrang, Ma? Hajrang. Huh? Sajrang. Hajrang, Hajrang. Hajrang, Hajrang. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hajrang? Form <laughs> one? Yes, sir. Ah. So, this. 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 See, after this much is same, we'll put H here. H-R, 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 okay? Then alpha you know is below, and beta is above. Okay? So now you'll write the name. I don't want to write the name. You'll write this one, and don't write everything. Write this, glucopyranos, and beta D. Though you have written it, again you write, so that is a practice for you. Okay. Right. All right, now I put number. See here, this is one, this carbon.
Are done. You didn't know? Okay. <clears throat> so now below that, you have written the name now. Name also you have written. I told you write the name below. Yes, sir. Huh? Written. Did you write? Yes, sir. Okay. Now below that name you write in capital letters. These are called NO marks. See, these are not enantio marks. These are not the mirror image. D alpha D plus glucose and beta D plus glucose are not enantiomers. Why they are not enantiomers? Because the enantiomers show same amount of rotation. One will be in the right, other will be in the left. Okay? They are not enantiomers, but are enomers. What is the meaning of enomers? What is the definition of enomers? It is important for every time. When the configuration of two structures, when the configuration of two structures differ at a specific carbon. Specific carbon. See here. Where does it differ? Where does it differ? C1. When the configuration of two structures differ at a specific carbon, then they are called. It was Solution of glucose show a specific rotation of plus plus. 52.5. See here, very, very strange. This is 110. This is 19.7, but we get 52.5. Huh? <coughs> 5 degree. Why does it happen? So in that case, Gadi kunsa aye jabe ko tu busta na kintu hai. Na busta kya bolu? 
So in your poor solution, it happens like this. Phenomenon is known as muta. A process which involves the change of change in the specific location change in the specific rotation of either form of of glucose Glucose. In, in an aqueous solution. In 
plus solution to that of equilibrium is called The mission of the Initially, I told you what is reducing sugar. Reducing sugars are those which can reduce tolerance reagent and filling solution. So it should have free aldehyde group. But here you do not have any aldehyde group here. Then why is glucose is a reducing sugar? Let me write it. Why glucose is a reducing sugar? So, first I'll explain, then I'll write down. See here. I can write any structure of it. Huh? I'll open okay. I'll write for both for you. Try to understand the unit. See, this group we have got it by the reaction of glucose with <coughs> aldehyde with this. Okay, I'm again showing you this portion. If you wish, you can write or you need not write. I told you that I'm not that good in carbohydrates, huh? but we I have learned, I'm going to teach you. See, I was not a good student. Okay, you people are much better than me. So I have, if I don't understand anything, I have to read again and again. See here. This is alcohol, this is aldehyde. We know alcohol and aldehydes we have to give us hemiacetal. Hmm. I have shown you also. Okay, so again I'll show you. So it is R1 C O H. And this is E R2. This is a reverse English. Here you two, you take aldehyde and ketone other than glucose. Uh, then in that case, or well, not uh, glucose, monosaccharide, you have to use an acid which does not contain water and hydrogen. Okay. It undergoes like this. See here. Which why you have to use 
why you have to use anhydrous uh, acid? Why? The reason is that if water is there, see here. And then it breaks and gives you this. This is a reversible reaction. So when you do specifically with aldehyde and ketone, in that reaction, we do not add a single drop of water. See here. In this case, what happens? See, this is the OH. This is the aldehyde group. See. So you get this structure. All right. So this is we call it hemiacetal. So this is the hemiacetal. This one, this one, this is the hemiacetal. And we have put glucose in water. What will happen there? Okay, this bond will break and you will get back the same thing. What did you learn now here? Yeah. That is glucose in aqua solution immediately gives the free aldehyde group. You see, now this group is free or not? What should I write now here? Yeah. Free aldehyde group. Okay, so this is the one when you react with tolerance reagent. Or if you add your tolerance region, what you'll get now here? You'll get silver meter. Okay. And if you treat it with telling solution, you get red precipitate of cuprous oxide. All right, so this I'm putting inside box. This is you need not write. If you wish you can write, mm. you write the aldehyde alcohol, then you this. Then you write this. Then we'll give the explanation because you will not be taught this one in any class. Suppose you take chemistry. Just the fundamental thing. What also known as what? Howard projection, projection. I, my students will be perfect. If necessary, I'll tell you 10 times. Howard projection of glucose as hemiacetal group. Which opens up in aqueous solution solution to produce the Aldehyde within bracket group is C H O group, which opens up in aqueous solution to produce free aldehyde group to reduce tolerance. 
Collins, Gilgen, or filling solution. Thus, glucose is a reducing sugar. Now you have taken some of this is alpha. If you have taken beta, then which will go to the top? Open the same thing, they will get you will get the same thing. So whether it's alpha glucose or beta glucose, in both the cases they will open up. Okay, I'll draw one more structure of fructose. And after that, we'll finish today's huh? class. What time you have class? Nine o'clock or what? Yes, sir. Okay, then uh, today I'll not do because it's only five minutes to nine. You should take some rest also. All right, then. Uh, Thursday, I'll draw the uh, Howard projection of fructose, then I'll go to dissect And please go through the note, whatever you have read. If you have any doubt in the glucose chapter, ask me on Thursday. Any doubt? Till now, whatever the things you think we have read on the carbohydrates, any problem anywhere, we'll clear it first on the uh, Thursday, then I'll go to the next portion of glucose. Sorry, uh, carbohydrates. Okay, bye then. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, welcome. Thank you, sir. Ah.